Multi-cavity molds present special challenges to the molder. From a control point of view, each cavity must be considered a separate mold. To make the exact same part in each cavity, the plastic must be delivered to each cavity at identical temperatures and pressures. And each cavity must be cooled the same. If the plastic is not delivered to each cavity in the same condition, the parts coming from each cavity will not be the same. In actual practice, molds may be geometrically balanced in their cavity and runner design, but may not be flow balanced. That is, some cavities may fill faster than others. It's a good idea to test the amount of this imbalance so that proper process control decisions can be made. The dynamic cavity imbalance test will indicate the degree of imbalance among the cavities. This information may indicate which cavity should be the basis for control decisions or, in extreme cases, may suggest mold, gate, or wall thickness modifications to better balance the cavities. To begin the test, set up the machine to cycle normally, running a decoupled process. Then, turn off pack and hold pressures and times completely. We're making a fill only shot. The parts should be just short. Among the parts, there may be varying degrees of short shots. These indicate flow imbalances in the mold. Weigh each part and track the cavity it came from. Repeat this process a few times to gather more data. To calculate the degree of imbalance in the mold, Subtract the average of the lightest parts from the average weight of the heaviest parts and divide by the average weight of all the parts. Multiply by 100 to get a percentage of imbalance. 